Tiger News. News. We would like to wish you a happy birthday to a few of our staff members. Happy birthday to Miss Klein. Her birthday is May 16th. Happy birthday to Miss Spear. Her birthday is May 18th. Happy birthday to Miss Offman. Her birthday is May 21st. Students, we have nine more days left of school. Make sure to keep up with your grades since teachers will be finalizing them soon. Eighth graders, this is your last chance for a recorded goodbye message on Tiger News. Sign for Miss Ramirez's Tiger Time for this Wednesday. There will be a Great America trip on this Friday. I hope you all have lots of fun. I know I will. The 8th grade dance, the Enchanted Goblin, is going to be Wednesday, May 25th from 6 to 7.30. Tickets will go on sale this Thursday, May 19th through Tuesday, May 24th, and will be sold in room 67 during lunch for $5 each. Tickets sold on Wednesday, the day of the dance, will be sold for $10. The first 50 tickets sold will be given a nice treat. Be sure to buy your tickets early so that we don't have to stay in those long lines. You must be on the eligibility list to purchase a ticket, so make sure to check your eligibility early. There will be free food at the dance. Eighth graders, we are sending them a food donation request, so please share with your families. We want you guys to have lots of goodies. We can't wait to see you at our first dance since 2020. Students, fifth graders will be coming to Somerset for the tour this week. Make sure to continue to welcome them. To add on all the events that are going on this week, the pause concert will be Thursday, May 19th from 7 to 8.30. Good luck, students. A fair promotion ceremony is coming up in preparation for this week. We would like to take this time to remind you that the Sylvan Union School District has a no balloon policy. There should be no flowers or money leases given to students prior to the 8th grade ceremony. We ask families to be respectful of other guests and not bring objects such as large stuffed animals, posters, fat heads, or anything that may obstruct the view of others. Families are welcome to make posters to display during promotion. Posters may be no larger than 12 by 18 and must be submitted to the office no later than 3 p.m. Tuesday, May 24th. Now here's Jesus with this day in history. Thank you, Jose. On this day in 1983, the television special Motown 25, Yesterday, Today, and Forever aired. It was a tapping of the first time that Michael Jackson performed the moonwalk for a live audience. Now here's Tristan with our social and mindfulness exercise for the week. Thank you, Jesus. Our social skill of the week is greetings. Greeting people is polite and respectful. If you show respect to someone, they respect you as well, and never will likes being respected. Make sure you say hello and look at the person in the eyes. Our mindfulness exercise for the week is counting to 10. Counting to 10 will allow you to stop and think about the problem in front of you. It will allow you to come to your senses to resolve or finish an issue. Now here's Jasmine with a unique holiday. Thank you, Tristan. Today is Love a Tree Day. Trees not only provide us with lumber, nuts, and fruits, but they also provide oxygen for us to breathe, homes for birds and other animals, and help to observe access CO2 from the atmosphere. They do so much for us that the least we can do is create a holiday where they can be appreciated. This holiday falls on May 16th every year. Now here is Roman with this week's weather. Thank you, Jasmine. As you can see here, on Monday, we have a high of 90 and a low of 57. On Tuesday, we have a high of 89 with a low of 57. On Wednesday, we have a high of 86 with a low of 55. Then, on Thursday, we have a high of 85 with a low of 55. Finally, on Friday, we have a high of 86 and a low of 55. Summer is right around the corner, Tigers. Now here is Antonio and Jesus with Jokes and Trivia. Thank you, Roman. Here's a joke to lighten your day up. Why did the gym close down? Why did it close down? It just didn't work out. Since the new Doctor Strange movie is out, let's do a quick trivia about Marvel. What was the first Marvel movie ever made? Iron Man, Captain America, The Hulk, or Thor? The correct answer is Iron Man. I know I would have gotten that wrong. Back to Jose and Ashlina at the news desk. Thank you, Aces. Our Tigers were asked, when was the last time you were scared the most? Let's see what they had to say. One day in the nighttime when I was walking from one of my basketball games, a homeless dude on a bike was following me. <laughs> How did you react? I, I just turned around, my face was like, I just turned around, I didn't say nothing, I just kept walking. I wasn't scared, no heck though. So the scariest moment of my life is when I was at my tia's house. I wanted to get this baby chick, right? There was like three of them, they looked so cute, so I wanted one. So I, I went to go pick it up, and the mom just came out of nowhere and started chasing me all the way in the backyard, all the way to the door. And then I started, I was screaming and crying. I was you like, I was like little babies. <laughs> no, I got all scratched on my legs and my tia came out and she started wetting it with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> my mom does the same thing with my chickens. Yeah? 
It's crazy. Like, don't do that. So what it was. One day, me and my cousin we were walking, and this man just following us. We just started running. What were you thinking that moment? Were you like, kind of scared? Yeah, like, I didn't think much about it. I just, like, just started running. Because I knew I was going to make it home either way or yeah. one. So, yeah. Was it in the dark or the... It, it was just black, dark, like, pitch dark. Like, you really couldn't see nothing. Yeah, I wasn't scared. I would have called the cops or something. We called the cops when we, like, hit the house. Like, we first Was he, like, chasing, chasing you? Yeah, like, I don't know if it was homeless man, because I guess, because my cousin, he just pulled out, like, a phone. And I guess the man just saw the phone. And he, like, that was an item that he can, like, put at the pawn shop. Yeah. It's like, man, just stop following us. Right? That's, that's, that's crazy. I would, mm, I would be crying. Oh, heck no. Okay, so the scariest moment of my life was when... I went to a theme park and I went on a roller coaster and my seatbelt wasn't buckling. Were you falling out? Yeah. Did you almost like, was there like a scary roller coaster or like a baby one? It was a scary roller coaster. Oh. So you almost died? I, I guess, yeah. Oh. Um, when I was little, I almost drowned, but I got too fully before I, I like drowned. Were you scared? Yeah. Dang, I was a bit panicky. Were you panicking? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tigers, for your responses. Antonio conducted an interview with one of our Tigers for Tigers Spotlight. Let's take a peek. Hey, Tigers. Today we have Kai with us to share some information about himself. First, tell us your name. Tom Kai. What is one thing you're good at? Being social. What is one thing you'd like to be better at? Join. What is something you wish people knew about you? My personality. What is one thing you're grateful for? My family. What is one thing in life that you struggle with that you can share? Being truthful. How would you like to be remembered when you leave Somerset? Being a kind student with my friends. What is one thing you look forward to in the future? Having a good education. If you could provide advice to someone your own age, what would it be? Being grateful for everything you have. Thank you for sharing with us, Guy. Now here's Mr. Ortega with words of wisdom. Hello, Somerset Tigers. This is Mr. Ortega bringing you today's words of wisdom. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys real quick that as you guys continue to grow and progress throughout your educational journeys, you're going to face a lot of challenges, struggles, and sometimes failure along the way if you haven't done so already. But it's important to keep in mind that those things don't define us. So challenge, struggle, failure, that doesn't define who you are as people. What does define you is how do you respond to it? How do you respond to struggle? How do you respond to challenges? How do you respond to failure? Do you just give up or do you keep trying? Those are the things that define who you are as a person. And ultimately, those are the things that are going to make you guys better and stronger. So I wanted to share that with you guys real quick and just keep that in mind with you as you continue to progress throughout your educational journey. Thank you, Mr. Ortega, for taking time to share that with us. Now here's Fabian with sports. Thank you for that. Now to sports. Today I'm going to talk about John Morant. John Morant is an American professional basketball player for the Memphis Grizzlies of the NBA. He played college basketball for the Murray State Racers, where he was a consensus first team All-American as a sophomore in 2019. Now here's our Jingle with Movies Corner. Thanks, Raven. This week's movie is Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness. This movie is about how Doctor Strange casts a forbidden spell that opens a portal to the multiverse. However, a threat emerges that may be way too big for his team to handle. I recommend this movie to you. Back to you at the news desk. That was our show, Tigers. We'll leave you with one final thought. Life is similar to a movie where you need to write your very own ending, Elmo. That's all for today, Tigers. Remember to be safe, respectful, and responsible. Thanks, and we'll see you on our last... Tiger News, cut channel.
really know. <laughs> oh, hey, no. Bro, what? This doesn't, I don't know. I don't like how this sounds. I should have picked Sea Monkey. Okay. Sea Monkey? Yeah, I was gonna talk about that. Mr. Reese, please don't put that in there. <laughs> she is. Watch. No, no please don't. <laughs> no. no! No! I was such a good date. No, I did so good that one. What is the one thing you look for? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Wu is out. Doctor Wu. <laughs> <laughs>